hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created new react js application and in today's video we will create a new schema in mysql workbench and then we will write the configurations to connect mysql database with our spring boot application so let's get started so first of all we need to create the new schema so we will open mysql workbench and to create a new schema we can click on this icon and here in this input we need to type the name of the schema which is employee in our case and then we will click on this apply button and we need to verify the sql query and then we can click on this apply and it says sql script was successfully applied to the database now let's click on this finish button and as you can see we got new employee schema and currently we don't have any tables in it now let's go back to our intellij and here we need to open our application dot properties file and here we will write the configuration and first of all we need to write the url of our database and to do that we will write spring dot data source dot url is equals to and here we need to mention jdbc colon mysql and after this we need to mention the environment and then the port and in our case the environment is localhost and the port is double three zero six and after slash we need to mention the name of the schema which is employee in our case and after the url we need to mention the username so we will write spring dot data source dot username is equals to and in my case the username is root so i will write root and after the username we need to mention the password so we will write spring dot data source dot password is equals to and in my case the password is root as well and if you have a different password then you need to mention your own password here and after the password we need to mention driver class name so we will write spring dot data source dot driver class name is equals to and we will mention com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver and with this our data source properties are completed now we need to mention jpa properties so we will write spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto is equals to and we will set this to update and this line configures the behavior of hibernate and setting it to update means that hibernate will attempt to update the database schema based on the entity classes and after this we will mention spring dot jpa dot show sql is equals to true and this line enables the logging of sql statements executed by hibernate when set to true it will print sql statements to the console and with this our mysql db configuration is completed now let's click on this button to run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will create employee entity and related classes and file structure in our Spring Boot application.